Hi everyone. Thank you in advance for watching this video. I'm going to try to keep this very short. I just thought it'd be easier to do a video since no one reads long posts and this would be a very long post. So for those of you who I see regularly, you know that after I returned from doing my herbal medicine apprenticeship in Scotland, I decided to um, go back to school at my advanced age, back in school. That's a whole nother topic. Anyway, so I um, am in a four-year program in Mount Pleasant to become a naturopathic doctor. So um, I need your help because what's going on right now with a bill that's under review actually would negatively affect me and my colleagues if it were passed. So right now there's a bill, it's called HB5302 and it's counterpart HB5303 that is um, sitting with the Committee for Regulatory Reform. So just a side note, the way bills work. Really, it's a long way from being passed. Typically, a bill will be with a committee and then the committee decides to bring it to the full House. And then the House will vote on it and then maybe it'll go to the Senate and then maybe it'll eventually get passed. So why am I like all up in arms when it's not even really got legs yet? Because I feel like it's, it's, it's better to be proactive. Like, is it better to like nip something in the bud when it's first happening or wait till it's like a full grown type of thing and then try to squash it? I'm like, let's tackle this now. So anyway, these bills are basically being pushed through by what's called naturopathic physicians. So just a little bit of um, a review on the difference of these different type of healthcare practitioners. So I'm going to school to be a naturopathic doctor. And now naturopathic doctors are um, practitioners who use natural remedies to help in the prevention and maintenance of health or, or disease. That's, that's a good way to, to explain it, I guess. Now, as a naturopathic doctor, when I'm finished with my program, I will not be allowed to diagnose or prescribe. Meaning, you could come see me with heart disease, diabetes, this or that, but you wouldn't come see me not knowing what's going on with you and have me run a lot of tests and then me say, you have diabetes. I'm not legally allowed to do that. I can help you manage it, but I can't tell you that you have it and I cannot prescribe insulin for it because I did not go to a traditional medical school where I am taught the ins and outs of different type of pharmaceuticals and their reactions, okay? So I wouldn't do that. Now, a regular MD or physician would definitely do that. That's what they're there for. They will diagnose, they will prescribe pharmaceuticals if that's what you need, that's their role. Now, a naturopathic physician is kind of a bridge between these two. And actually, I think naturopathic physicians, I'm very upset with them right now, but as a whole, I think they're amazing. They're, they're an amazing profession. They kind of are operating in both worlds. So it's not a traditional medical school they go to. It's this, these hybrid schools where they learn all about natural remedies. They might learn about botanicals, homeopathics, hydrotherapy, body work, on and on and on. They, know, they learn about these things, but they also learn about pharmaceuticals and surgery, and I do believe they work on cadavers, okay? That's your naturopathic physician. They are sponsoring and trying to push these bills through in the state of Michigan. They have a, like a 20-year plan where they are going state by state trying to become licensed. I'm not against naturopathic physicians being licensed. I think that's great. Really, in the state of Michigan, they're not allowed to practice their full scope is their issue. They're saying in the state of Michigan, they're not allowed to prescribe pharmaceuticals and diagnose. They're not allowed to... Um, I guess, order certain type of diagnostic test, which I would have to look into because I think naturopaths can, so I don't know why they can't. So that's a whole other sidebar. Anyway, they want to be able to fully practice what they know. And I'm here for it. They should be able to fully practice. Um, they're a great resource. Now, this is a problem. This bill, and I would say, if you're like, what is she talking about? If you're not a Michigan resident, you probably want to stop watching now because this has nothing to do with you. But if you are a Michigan resident, and my goodness, if you are a Michigan resident who happens to be a chiropractor, an optometrist, a podiatrist, or um, a veterinarian, you, you are interested in these bills because HB 5302, the very first part of it says, 
that an individual licensed under this article to engage in the practice of chiropractic, dentistry, medicine, optometry, osteopathic medicine and surgery, um, podiatric medicine and surgery, psychology or veterinary medicine, or naturopathic medicine shall not use the term doctor or doctor, DR, they wrote it, in any written or printed matter or display without adding thereto of chiropractic, of dentistry, of medicine, of optometry, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're saying, if you're any of these type of doctors, you can't just say you're a doctor. You have to always say you're a doctor of this and all your printed materials. Bizarre, very bizarre. Don't even know why they're leading with that. But anyway, okay. Now, of naturopathic medicine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you're stumping on my toes because you're trying to redefine the field for yourself. And if you go down further in 5302, it claims that, oh my goodness, if you are what they are calling, um, let me find it. So now later on they're saying that if someone does not use the title doctor, physician, or medical doctor, or medicine, then they are allowed to use Natu naturopathy, naturopathic health care, naturopath, naturopathic practitioner, or traditional naturopathic practitioner. Excuse the heck out of me. You don't get to re redefine a whole field and industry. A naturopath is someone who uses natural remedies. Now, you want to decide who gets to use the term and decide what schools um, are allowed to um, be licensed? No, that's completely unacceptable and very disingenuous and bordering on unethical. Um, and they're really using the same playbook that AMA used 200 years ago to basically elbow out midwives, herbalists, witch doctors, and other traditional practitioners who have had literally millennia of <laughs> um, being able to help people with their medical needs, okay? So this bill would actually hurt me. It would it would mean after four years of school, I would not be allowed to call myself um, a doctor. And it actually would also hurt Michigan residents and apparently chiropractors and optometrists and podiatrists. I don't know why they randomly picked like five different specialties, but um, it would affect you all as well, um, FYI. And the other thing is this. So... There are already over 500 practicing NDs in the state of Michigan. There are four schools um, and programs in the state of Michigan that are licensed by Laura. Um, and this is really outsiders coming in and trying to regulate what we're doing in Michigan. And I, and I, think, we should, I think we should stop it. So I'm asking you, if you're a Michigan resident, to please call um, representatives who are on the current regulatory reform I will have that listed underneath this video I would say if you see um, a representative who is in your district call that person if you don't see a representative in your district I would call the um, his name is Michael Weber I believe I would call him because he is the chair and I, I would just tell him if you and I'm gonna put some other talking points but the main thing is that it takes it takes away the rights of 500 already um, practitioners in the state of Michigan. It totally underwrites the, all the regulatory things we've already got going on and the schools already approved by Laura. Um, and it really um, lets naturopathic physicians, it's just, just another example of how these things work. You think a bill gets passed because someone gets harmed or hurt or like concerned citizens are like, oh no, this is terrible, we need to stop this. Really the way this works is people with bigger pockets and you have an agenda and an interest to help them in their career, whatever they got going on, start lobbying and get things passed that benefit them. So let's put a kibosh to that, okay? That's it. Thank you for listening. Bye.